Okay, y'all, it's Sunday, and y'all know I'm trying to get these videos ready in advance for, um, you know, the week, because next week we'll be in Vegas in Chai. I'm not going to be worried about none of y'all niggas, okay? But um, we've, or um, let, me, let me say this, let me take it back, because I'm a little bit disturbed, right? But I was listening to the YouTube creator, Authentic Epic Boom. She's um, a young lady from over there on the West Coast, and she provides a lot of information about Kanika. Um, right now, she's um, keeping me abreast on what's going on over there on the West Coast in regards to Nipsey. But I just heard a video, a leaked audio video of where the police were disrespecting, disrespecting Nipsey and his family over the police scanner. So I'm going to let you hear it. And then I'm going to do my true commentary about it later. And I'm going to be honest. And you know, in regards to the criminal justice system, you know my affiliation with the criminal justice system. You know why I am no longer affiliated with the criminal justice system. You know, a lot of times you just don't want to play the game no more. And when you don't play that game, you the enemy. Okay? Because like I told you, the biggest gang in the world are the police. Okay? But at any rate, hold tight. Let me get this audio together. Wow. Let's do this, right? Um, I don't know if you guys caught it, but I caught it, right? I don't know if any of you all are old enough to remember the show, Beavis and Butthead, but one of the players in those two audios were saying things in the same rhythm as um, Beavis, okay? And I don't know if they were deliberately doing that or if it was a part of the joke for them to do that because... Was it Beaver or was it Butthead? Whatever one. But the one with the braces in his teeth, if you remember. It was one that was blonde, and it was one with braces on his teeth, right? And I hate to say this, but sometimes, you know, police officers just be so friggin' corny, man. It's like... It's like they be the squarest dudes that you will ever meet in your life. And then... When they become the police, and you know because women love to drop their panties to a uniform, they just become the man. All the women that they could not screw on top of when they were young, they could screw on top of them now, okay? But um, these two are like the epitome of what a rookie is, you know? Because like I tell you, I really don't trust any law enforcement that has been on the force less than about, I'm going to say anywhere between eight and 10 years, because the first couple of years, 
are always the RoboCop years. You know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of them come out of the military. If they were not screwed up when they came out of the military, they screwed up now. They're very immature. You know, even though they're um, requesting that a lot of police officers have a college degree, I think some of that has been put to the side because people are not running to be police officers anymore. You know, back in the day when I was young, people wanted to be firefighters, police officers. But child, when the 80s came out and police officer meant slash drug dealer slash, you know, epic felon, you know, that, hey, that, nobody wanted to be the police no more. Okay. But um, but I'm saying this to say that um, the way that the way that it works, you know, I've explained the cycle before, right? The seasoned police officers are done with that RoboCop because there is a cycle. They come in from the military, they come in hot headed, so they are the dummies that do the hard work because they're hyper. They're ready to give out every ticket. They're ready to you know, fight crime head on, you know, they're, they're ready for that action head on until they become in their years, seventh, eighth, ninth year. And they realize, wait a minute, I'm tired. You know, I'm trying to live. I'm not trying to be out here and scrambling around with these fools because when they're young, they're young. They don't mind running after people. They, they think it's a sport to literally run after that's why they stay in the gym because they want to be able to keep up with the criminals because it literally gives them that adrenaline rush every day they get psyched to go into work every day you know what i'm saying so they need that in order for them to feel fulfilled in order for them to feel cool like the cool dude that they never was but they still don't know that we looking at them like you still a corny dude and these dudes right here just proved it you old corny dude who never fit in nowhere else so now you've become a police officer and now you're the cool dude you and your friend beavis and butthead are now the cool dudes right and you're so cool that you're trying to try to crack jokes that are not funny, dum dum. You so dumb that you don't even get the point that you know. Even if you're not fired from your job, you're still going to be known as the dum dums that said what they said about Nipsey Hussle. Because let's keep it honest. I don't care how much you, you know camera you have on you on you. You know I don't care how much audio you have. I don't care what the what. It ain't gonna do nothing to them. You know, the cameras can blatantly show, you know, police officers bopping somebody upside the head for no reason. You know, it, it, the camera going to say you didn't see his foot. His foot looked like it was about to kick me in the mouth. Okay? But that's just the facts of the matter about what is real about law enforcement. Those were two immature police, Beavis and Butthead, that cracked corny jokes that did not land with anybody but them two stupid motherfuckers. Okay? And they were immature and they were stupid and they represent the first couple of years of law enforcement. Okay? The first couple of years. They know that them young dudes is out there acting a whole fool and running amok. Now tell me am I wrong? Tell me am I wrong if you know any police officer that's over the age of 35 or get yeah, over the age of 35 that act whole fools the way that these niggas do. Or them, because they niggas they absolutely, they, uh, I don't even want to, I, I, be this and butthead. But anyway, let me move on to the next thing I want to talk about, right? So, um, Authentic Epic Boom all, all also informed me that you niggas was trying to sell Nipsey Hussle tickets on Craigslist. What else was they selling it on? Because y'all, y'all, I mean, Negroes never cease to amaze me. Ninjas are always looking for a come up. But, um, you know, I, I mean, hey, scammers are everywhere. And we cannot be surprised when scammers do things like that. Because there's people out here with no soul everywhere. Okay? Everywhere. All right? We can't be surprised when you find out Ray Ray is selling tickets to a free public affair. These dummies. I mean, who would do that anyway? Who would do it? You know, that's like when you go out to the club and some guy, he didn't found him old yellow vest and he's standing in front of the parking lot. And you literally, I mean, and I've had to do this before only because I know scam when I see it and I'm going to hurry up and get the hell off of here. But these ninjas 
will stand in front of an empty parking lot, put a vest on, especially in D.C., especially in downtown D.C., wave over to the, over here, over here, 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 here. And I'm saying to myself, nigga, do you even own this parking lot? Do you even know this? Where do you live, sir? What is this? But that's the scam. Downtown D.C., you just walk in front of an empty parking lot, stand in front of it, and when people drive up uh, this parking lot, yeah, $20, sir, $20. They take your $20, and then you drive into the parking lot that was fucking free in the first goddamn place. But you didn't pay this stranger $20 to let you park in a free um, um, parking lot only because you just didn't know. Not me. Not me, motherfucker. Not me. I'm like, well, where, who are you, sir? Where you work for? But that's what ninjas do. Because guess what happens? You come back out to your car, not only is it broken into, but the nigga with the yellow vest on is gaunt with your money and your radio. Okay? I'm just telling you what it is. Stop trusting these motherfuckers. They be scammers. I'm telling you, the probation officer in me got me looking at every nigga sideways. That's part of the problem with me, y'all. I cannot lie. I don't trust none of these motherfuckers. All of them got a scam. But anyway, guys, remember this. The same people you meet on the way up will always be the same people you meet on the way down. They say is my patron loves. Have a good one. Deuce.